Hey guys, salam and namaste. I'm starting off by showing my dry ingredients. My favorite main two ingredients are obviously Lapsiko Dulo and Jimbu. And you can find those in your local Nepalese grocers. And the rest are pretty basic day-to-day -day curry ingredients. So with my chicken, I always ask the butcher to well, if it's a baby chicken, I always ask him to make it 16 portions. But as you can see, the pieces are too big, so I'm cutting them down even more. But if you like your chicken size big, leave it that way. Oh yeah, before anyone says, ooh, the chicken's not washed, it is, it is washed. No matter how much you wash the chicken, there's still going to be some blood in it. So yeah, chicken is nice and washed guys, don't worry. Okay, so now I'm heating up my mustard oil and I did drop in the methi seeds already and the Sichuan pepper and the coriander powder. Now the jimbu and now the dry herbs with the jeera and the lapsi kudulo. Now just add in your onions, give them a good stir, you need to wait until they become not fully golden brown but just a little tinge of light brown. So now I'm adding in my chicken and guys we want the chicken to be like a light golden brown not overly dark brown only because we don't want the chicken to be too hard and we want we don't want it to be too soft because if it's too soft it will break away in the gravy and we don't want that and if it's too hard it's not going to be enjoyable to eat just till it's light golden brown so give it a good stir and I'm gonna be dropping the chilies in now and yeah guys cover this baby for exactly three minutes on medium to low heat Okay, as you can see, the chicken has left its own juices and my god, if there was smell -o vision I wish you guys could smell it right now. Even without the masala, it's smelling great. So we don't dispose of the natural juices that the chicken has let out because once it dries out, it will give it a more nice golden color and as you can see it's dried out so don't waste away that good flavor guys it's like natural chicken stock seriously don't throw it away because a lot of people tend to get rid of it cover the chicken again for a further of four minutes on medium to low heat afterwards you're gonna see it looks like a beautiful light golden brown that's perfect no, no darker than that, please guys. You want moist chicken, not dry. 
Yep, and please excuse the ginger and garlic paste. Kind of looks like something Hulk shut out, but it's freshly grounded ginger and garlic paste. And I put one tablespoon and a half. Adding in the meat masala now. Now I'm going to be chucking in the tomatoes and giving it a good stir. And you're gonna add the lemon juice guys yep about one tablespoon should be fine but you can add according to your taste if you like it more amilo or more sour you can do Now I'm adding two teaspoons of salt and again Swad Anusar you can put well you have to keep the thing with salt is you have to keep testing it otherwise you could have a dish that looks like it's gonna have enough salt and in the end it turns out it doesn't please guys ignore my voice I'm under the weather so if I'm sounding a bit hoarse that's just my throat dried up um yeah after covering it again i left the covering for at least two minutes not longer than that and the tomatoes have melted and made nice gravy now i'm adding one and a half cup of water Now chuck those green beautiful coriander leaves in. We are almost done guys. And for me, the salt was perfect amount because I did, obviously I have the meat masala and when you mix a lot of masalas together, it has like a salt quantity in it so I didn't want to overdo it okay hamro tarkari ready wako cha enjoy garnu tata tato baat sanga khannu huncha like and subscribe thank you